The International Alert IA, in collaboration with Global Peace Development GDP, has trained 50 community facilitators on conflict prevention and management in Kaduna State. The two days training is aimed at engaging communities prone to violence, religious leaders, and other relevant stakeholders in pursuance to lasting peace as panacea to sustainable growth and development in the state and nation at large. The country director of International Alert, Dr. So Paul Unyu Laku says the training will enhance local dispute resolution processes and strengthen uh, conflict prevention, management with gender sensitivity advocacy for the residents. Key stakeholders and resource persons from Sexual Assault Referral Center, Kafenchen, says 3,108 women, girls and children are assaulted with life injury in society, noting that Networking and zero tolerance to any forms of abuse and conflict will be reduced to the barest minimum. To strengthen the capacity of the data facilitators on conflict prevention, management, conflict and gender sensitivity and analysis and advocacy. Managing conflict to participating in early warning, but it is also very important as community stakeholders to follow up on ad, uh, using advocacy medium to persons, key decision makers uh, that are in position to make changes that will further sustain the peace that we have in our communities. Mostly women and children are most vulnerable in our society. It's not as if men are not being assaulted. Um, I think we have 10% of men that have been assaulted as a, against 19% women and children being uh, assaulted. We've recorded a lot of cases of assault. I think in my center, we recorded 3,108 cases as at July. July 2023, from inception 2019, to all fight it together because it's everybody's business. It's not one man's business. And so we need to strengthen the synergy. Our experience shows that there's leakages in one place or the other. Sometimes, yes, the son of so -so, the son of somebody commit the offense. And before you know, because the survivor is vulnerable and the case passed under the water. And that is giving us a concern. And one thing about the sexual and gender-based violence, it could be anybody, anywhere, anytime. It has no respect for age, it has no respect for religion, and it has no even respect for gender. So we have recorded men that were also assaulted. I'm chosen to manage conflict and also um, gather skills for conflict um, management and prevention. In addition, in their communities, they will also have dialogues. People um, who are part of these workshops are people who come from communities where um, have been greatly impacted by conflict. So the essence of this workshop is actually to build their capacity in conflict prevention, conflict management, also including gender, gender sensitivity in all of these, like considering the impact of conflict, for instance, in, um, and how it affects women, men, youth, children, boys, and girls. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.